Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. In this video recipe, I'll be making these delicious mini quiches. These little quiches are delicious and easy to make and are ideal for picnics and buffets. You can serve them hot or cold. And just like my last steak and onion pie video, I'll be using the hot water crust pastry again. In this example, I'll be making salmon and broccoli ones, but you can use other fillings of your choice. I'll go through some alternatives a little later in the video. But I highly recommend this salmon and broccoli version. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video, or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. And I'd like to thank the Patreon and PayPal supporters for their very kind help. I'll be doing the shout out and name splash a little later in the video. Okay, let's get on with today's recipe. Right, I'll start by making the pastry. Put the water in a small pan and bring it to a simmer. Place the butter and fat into the hot water and stir until it melts. Now add the salt to the flour and thoroughly mix it in. Make a well in the flour and add the hot liquid. Using my trusty wooden spoon handle, I'll bring it all together. At this point, I'll swap to my bowl scraper to finish it off and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now turn out the door onto the bench and gently knead it together. It should be cool enough to handle by now. Now form the dough into a puck shape. Wrap it in cling film or a plastic bag and get it into the fridge. It's way too soft to use at the moment. It'll need to be in the fridge for at least an hour before using it. And this hot water crust pastry can be made well in advance, even the day before. OK, I can start preparing the filling for these little quiches. Take a couple of florets of broccoli and trim the ends off as shown. Now you don't want these too big with thick stalks or they won't cook in the oven. Right, my next job is to prepare the salmon. Now my two salmon fillets are boneless but they still have the skin on, so I'll show you how to remove it. Take a sharp thin bladed knife and carefully remove the skin as shown. Take a little off one end at first. Then use a paper towel to hold it while you cut the rest. Now like I said at the start, you can fill your quiches with whatever you like as long as you use the four main basic ingredients, that's egg, milk, cheese and spring onion finely chopped. Boiled ham or even spam cut into small cubes is very nice. Or crispy bacon lardons is very nice too. The best way is experiment with different ingredients. But we like salmon and we like broccoli, so it's a good combination for us. Now cube the salmon as shown, don't make them too big. About half inch cubes is ideal. Okay, I'll finally dice these two medium sized spring onions. And you may know those as green onions or scallions or whatever they call them where you live. To make these mini quiches in, I'm going to use this well greased 12 cup standard sized muffin tin. Okay, time to mix the eggs. Crack all six eggs in a jug. Whisk for a while. Now at this point you can season the egg mixture if you wish. Now I find there's enough salt already in the pastry and the salt in the cheese. So be careful how much you use. And don't forget you can always add a little extra salt after they're baked. And now add the milk. 
and give it a good whisk to get plenty of air into the mix. And this will help them rise a bit better in the oven. Now set that aside for now. Time to prepare the pastry. Place your now chilled pastry on a floured surface and sprinkle on a little flour. Now roll it out until you have about a 4mm thickness, that's about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Once that's done, you'll need something round to cut out 12 circles at about 10 centimetres, which is around a 4 inch diameter. I'm using the tin my pastry cutters come in. It's an ideal size. I'm sure you'll find something to do the job around your house. Once you get as many as you can out of the first roll, you need to re-roll the pastry until you have 12 circles. OK, once your circles are cut, carefully line each cup in your muffin tin as shown. This pastry is very forgiving and it will mould itself nicely into these cups. Just take your time. Now get yourself a little roll of pastry and press it down into the corners of the tin. Now do the same for all the other cups. It takes a little while, but it's worth it. And there you go, all 12 done. It didn't take very long at all. Another point, try to leave a little pastry protruding over the edge of each cup, as this pastry will shrink some in the oven. Now before going any further, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 355 Fahrenheit, or gas mark full. OK, almost there. Start by adding a little of the egg mixture to each cup. Next, add a good pinch of that grated cheese to each one. Next to go in is a good pinch of the chopped spring onions to each cup. Time to add three or four pieces of the salmon. Don't put it all in just yet, you should use about half of it. Next add all of the broccoli as shown. And now the remainder of the spring onions can go in. And now the rest of the salmon can go in. Fill up the cups with the rest of the egg mixture, but not quite to the top. And now to finish these beauties off, a good pinch of that cheddar cheese to every cup. Building the quiches up this way ensures that each one has the same amount of everything and is equally distributed. Right, time to get them into the preheated oven. Now set your timer for 30 minutes. And at this point, I hope you don't mind if I give my two recipe books a bit of a plug. 
The books have lots of our favourite easy to follow recipes from our work kitchens in them. Both books are available in the website shop along with lots of other equipment I use in the videos. And by popular demand the skeleton style oven gloves are now available too. Just click on the eye icon top right of your screen and that will take you directly to the website shop. Right, time's up. And these beautiful little quiches are done. And as you can see they've risen quite nicely. And they smell and look fantastic. I'll allow them to cool for 10 minutes on the wire rack. And I'll pop them out of the tins and let you have a look on the inside of one. And of course, have a little taste. And they're popping out of the tins quite easily. Just be careful that you don't scratch the non-stick coating of the tins when you're taking them out. And they look amazing, and that pastry is beautifully cooked. Okay, time to cut one open. Now these are still a little warm, but like I said, you can serve them cold too. And they're ideal for picnics, party buffets, packed lunches for the kids, even a light lunch with a little green salad. Beautiful. And don't they look fantastic on the inside? Soft, light and moist. And that salmon is beautifully cooked too. Well, I can't wait any longer. And they are absolutely delicious. Whatever filling you use, I'm sure your friends and family will be queuing up for one of these. Definitely a big thumbs up recipe that everyone will enjoy, young and old. And as promised at the beginning, here is the latest list of my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And they are... Rick Midkiff, William Redden, Johnny and Harry, Nancy Borinkoff, Michael Sutton, Russell Kendall, Monique Brunson, Patrick Hicks, Mel Stokes and Hilary Zullo. And there's also one who wishes to remain anonymous. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.